Hello, this is Corvus Corax and today I will show you a multi-headed OpenPilot installation. Our first core will be this laptop running the POSIX simulation of OpenPilot, which I start now. And I will now connect the GCS to it using the UDP protocol. It got its telemetry link, but as you can see there are only very few modules actually running, so here almost everything is grayed out only telemetry and system are active. This has a reason because uh, every module should only run once and we run the other modules on the second processor. The second processor will be the OpenPilot Pro board. So what I do is I plug it in and it will be detected by the SimPOSIX and it will make a URV talk connection to it and synchronize uh, URV objects with it. So it should now detect the board. The board hasn't completely booted yet, so it should detect it again, which is now the case. And as you can see, so now suddenly I have all the status information from the other board also. And I also have sensor readings from the sensors that are on the board, in this case the barometric altitude. What I can do now is uh, speed up the speed on this a little bit. It uh, updates the uh, POSIX simulation in real time, but the GCS is not updated with the same speed. So what I have to do now is uh, go into the metadata and say I want this at 100 millisecond update rate. And as soon as I did that, you can see that the barometric altitude gets now updated as fast as this thing gets moved. So this is multi-headed OpenPilot. In theory, if you have a fast enough link, you could also connect multiple OpenPilot boards and run some modules on one and some modules on the other. And they share all UIV objects and can uh, such share their tasks. So we are now multi-core. That's it.